Namaste, Yogi and Yogi News. Good day to you all, and welcome once again to Yoga with Vic from the beautiful city or town of Fifth in Albania in the beautiful Alps. We're going to do a gentle class, so 10 minutes, something gentle, something that's not too strenuous, that it will stretch and strengthen, but without a lot of effort. A lot of effort, meaning like we're not going to sweat too much. Let's go and start in child's pose. So remember toes together. Open your knees. Hips go back to the heels. We extend the arms ahead of us as much as we can. That feels comfortable. If it's too much to start with, you can put your elbows on the floor, on the ground. Now let's start elongating the spine, making it as long and beautiful as we can. And freeing liberating the lower back, expanding the ribs, finding some more space to breathe, because this is what it's all about. Let's breathe deeply, so inhale through the nose. You can do a couple of exhales through the mouth if it feels good. <sighs> so let it all go, inhale through the nose. Exhale slowly. Inhale, you can count mentally if you want, like one, two, three, four, and exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four, exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep breathing. Maintain this beautiful cadence. And let's walk this, the uh, arms to the right. So both are gonna come to the right. I'm going to do a little banana shape here with the body, stretching further the left ribs. Ah, the left waist is also getting benefited here. And we're still working on opening the hips slightly. Let's walk to the left. Move your head, otherwise it's going to be a bit difficult. And you can also put the right hand on top of the left if it feels good and you have more traction there. Mm. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay, come to the center. From here, legs ahead, we're gonna snake down to the floor and find a beautiful cobra. Our first back bend, so it can be a small one. You can be in this mini cobra. You can go a little bit higher. If you think, oh, this is good and it feels good, but let's start here and let's see how it feels. And let's go to a sphinx pose. A sphinx pose, remember elbows on the ground and the chest is going through the gateway of our arms. Just finding this small back bend at the beginning of the day to see how it feels. Try to stretch the spine, try to find that elongation. Mentally, you can visualize your vertebra getting separated slightly, finding some more space. And from here, we're going to bend the right knee, bring it towards us, look at it. And then if you fancy trying, you can grab your foot and bring it towards your butt. Just folding it, stretching a little bit of the quad. Finding some more space also in the quadriceps, the front of the thigh. Ah, it feels very nice actually. And then from there we release. And from this position, we're gonna go down. We go to the left later. We go down to the floor, head on the uh, forehead so far. Stretch the right hand, the right arm ahead of you on the side. Not ahead, but on the side. Bend the left knee. And now we're going to bring the, the left foot behind the right leg. And then you're going to 
pull your cheek more to the side opening the right shoulder big opening big rotation external rotation and lower this feels so good and there's a little bit also of a spinal twist which also feels good take a couple of breaths from here we go back to our initial position so come back let's go to sphinx let's see how it feels you can also try a little bit of a seal how does it feel today to you is it good is it too much let's go back to sphinx four now bend the left knee and if this is good enough look at it there's still a bit of also of it a bit of rotation here and if it feels good and you think yeah this is me grab the left foot bring it towards your butt finding that beautiful stretch of the quadriceps mm, it does feel good especially if, you put, if you've been hiking like I was yesterday and a stretch is always a bliss okay release the foot slowly and now we get it to that rotation of the shoulder on the other side so the left hand goes to the left we bend the right knee and we move the foot beyond the left leg and then the cheek the temple will be more the temple than the cheek and we find that external rotation of the left shoulder opening up getting some mobility Oh, feels really good. One more breath. We come back slowly. We go to Cobra. And then we're going to do three Cobras, bending the, the both knees at the same time. Both the feet are coming up. So one Cobra. Go down, exhaling. Inhale, come up. Both feet come up. A bit more of a back bend. And then the third one, try to reach as much as it feels comfortable. Stay there for a couple of breaths. Feel that bend of the spine. And go down. Lift the hips. Let's go to all fours. And all fours do a couple of cats and cats. Drop the belly, inhaling. Look up without cranking your neck, just look ahead. Exhale, belly goes up, arch the spine as much as you can. Belly button towards the spine, sh separate the shoulder blades. Inhale, shoulder blades come together, belly heavy. Exhale, light as a feather going up with that beautiful spine. And the last one, make the most of it. Inhale, drop the belly heavy. Shoulder breaths come together. Exhale. Suck the air. Empty your belly of air completely and feel that navel really touching the spine. And come to neutral. Let's do a bit of a rope jumping. So imagine your spine is a rope and you're just moving it like someone is going to cut in and jump. Ah. Freestyle. Yeah, there's nothing wrong. You can bend the elbows if you want, whatever works. And then let's do the other side. This is not very normative. I mean, it is a bit how you feel, how everything feels when you move. And then we can do a bit more big circles. Ah, moving the whole body. And then we're also moving a little bit the wrists. So we're coming back with the hips, almost touching the heels. And then we come up and we go even beyond the fingers. So we're warming up the wrists also. And then the other side, circles to the side. Clockwise or anti-clockwise, depending on where you were going. You go beyond, so you feel the wrist. To the point that it's good, it doesn't hurt, of course. Never hurt yourself. So you can push yourself a little bit, but never go in pain. Okay, perfect. Let's keep in all fours. I'm getting stuck. 
that's the humidity. And from all fours, we're going to extend the right leg back, so toes go down, lift it. And when you find the strength and the lift, and the toes are looking down, so you're engaging immediately the glutes and the hamstrings, we're going to extend the left hand ahead of us, like you're shaking somebody's hands. There's a sunbird. Stay, hold it. There's a bit of core engagement. Well, there's a lot of core engagement. We're not doing the super strongest core in the world, but we're already engaging everything. The whole body is getting uh, demanded here. Hello, wake up. From here, we bring the hand down and the left is gonna go to the side. So bring it, bring it, bring it all the way to the right. Put the foot on the floor. And from here, we're gonna come up towards gate pose. And in gate pose, we're going to go now towards the, the bend, the, fold, uh, the extended leg. So I try to reach the knee, the calf, towards the foot. And a stretch, a stretch. The left side is really opening up here. Oh, beautiful stretch. And then come to the center and let's go to the left. Left hand goes on the floor, right hand comes up. And we're gonna lift the right leg, flex the foot, and we're doing a bit of side abdominals here, the obliques and the hips, everything is working. You can do small bounces, just a little bit, so we are activating everything, hips and side abdominals. And then come to the floor, come up again to get pose, hands on the floor, Leave the right leg and come back to where it was at the beginning and all fours. And let's do the other side. Let's go to the second side. Left leg comes to the back. Toes are going down. Leave the left leg. Strengthen glutes, hamstrings, everything. And then bring the right arm up. Stay in some You're looking down. Don't look ahead because otherwise you might hurt your neck. So keep looking down in a place that you feel stable. Awesome. And then we bring the right hand down again. The left leg goes towards the left. Slowly, we want to feel those obliques. And then it comes down to the floor. We put the whole foot on the floor. Come up to get pose. And from get pose, we go towards the extended leg. So to the left this time. And we try to reach as far as possible, going down the leg, slide down the leg and find that extension. And the upper arm can be vertical or you can just stretch the the side, accentuating it a little bit more. Your choice. I invite you to do whatever feels amazing today. Okay, we come up to the center again, to the gate pose, and then we go to the right. And Keep the hand, the left hand up, lift the left leg, and we can do a few pulses. And you can also stretch the left arm to the side. Again, your choice. You test yourself how it feels good. And then from here, come back to gate pose. Let's go to hands on the floor and very slowly we come back with the leg as we came in. We go to the back again and to the floor. Awesome, amazing. And we're done here and we're gonna go to the back. And I promise it was gonna be gentle. So let's bring right leg to the right, to the chest. Open the right hand on the right side, on the floor. And let's do this beautiful twist, pushing the right leg to the left and looking right. Oh. Mm. A couple of breaths here. Come to the center. Change, left leg comes to the chest, left hand gets extended. I like putting it 
on the way down, but you can also use it on the way up. So palm up. I think down you get more stability. And push it to the right. Look left. Ah, it doesn't have to touch the floor. Important is that the, the shoulders actually stay on the floor. Oh, my spine is already popping. Look, look, look. Okay, come to the center, grab both feet, a bit of happy baby, sway around. Ah, oh, awesome. Ah, push down. And if you want to extend a little bit side to side, do so. Otherwise, just keep knees going down. Open at the hips. And there you go. Bring both feet together, knees together. Give yourself a big hug. Forehead to the knees. Take a big inhale. Exhale. <sighs> big inhale. And Shabasana. This was it. A bit longer than 10 minutes, but it was gentle and nice. So forgive me. Just relax, relax the shoulders on the floor and the ground. Chin slightly tucked. Relax everything. Breathe, feel your belly going up and down. Slowly rising. I invite you to stay in Shavasana as long as you want. For the sake of brevity, I'm going to come up. Rock and rolling myself, but please stay behind and enjoy Shavasana. Give yourself a little bit of a break before you start the day, whatever you do. I'm just going to be incredibly grateful for having you here, for being gentle to yourself. Because we have to be gentle to ourselves. Don't push yourself always too much. Just always find kindness on yourself. Because we often offer kindness to others, but we forget about ourselves. Open your eyes if you're ready. And thank you so much for being with me today. Always an honor and a pleasure. See you very shortly. Namaste. <laughs>